Hello everyone, this is Mr. Alberona here, and today I'm here for a breakdown on Tenya Ida. Um, Ida, I would say, is a slept-on hero. He's actually really powerful, but I'd never see anyone using him online. Like, I think I've only ever fought against one Ida, but he's actually so powerful that he has amazing combos, he has really fun stuff, he's high damage, like that was 11,600 damage for zero dash cancels. <clears throat> we'll get to that later. But he has so much damage, he has high mix-ups with this red attack that he can do on the air and the ground. He has a lot of pressure, he's a safe way of getting in. When he goes into his charge state, he's plus ultra. He's really, like, crazy fast, crazy character, has, he's safe on everything. He get crazy ridiculous damage of anything, his things get extended, he's just ridiculous. I, I don't know why people don't like it. Like, look at that run speed. Oh, that was even faster before when, after I had the charge from the plus ultra one. But he's just so ridiculous. You can just, like, run. And he has these amazing charging in moves to, like, get in on the opponent for the safe and stuff. He's just all these really amazing tools that I never see people using for some reason. Anyways, let's get into his, uh, let's get into his buttons. His regular attack string. This three hitting attack string that leaves the opponent in a fumble so you can dash cancel afterwards to get a combo and as you saw his air attack looks quite similar it's a four hitting attack string that ends in the same like dive kick except you don't get a combo after that dive kick so usually you're going to be cancelling for the end of it um on his ground attack string you can actually cancel it into other slot buttons and that, that's how you're going to start most of your combos his red attack is pretty decent, it's quite fast, it's actually unexpectedly fast, a lot of people aren't ready for it. It has pretty decent range, actually maybe a bit below average, it doesn't reach from like here, it's more about like here, he runs up and kicks him on the head, and it's obviously like good because it's decently fast and it also leads to a combo, which is what the best red attacks. His yellow attack. Um, you can't combo into it, I don't think, or well, you can in certain situations, like after this, but then you can't combo out of it, because you usually can't. So if you hit it in the neutral, then you can actually get a combo off of it, so maybe if you're using it as an actual, like, yellow attack, as a counter attack, or whatever, um, you can actually use it, you hit them, and then you get to go in for a full combo, which is really good, makes it a really good move. In the air, it's just this upwards flip kick, that you can use to I use to extend his combos just to like get max damage from air portion. So after I've done all the ground stuff and I'm in the air, I do two hits into air, I'm gonna move into his quirk. Okay. His quirk one is this really unusual like side flip kick. It can be good for getting wall splats because of the angle that he goes around on if you're like not facing a wall sometimes get a wolf splat from an angle you wouldn't usually get them, like there, oh, whoop. like here, if I'm not actually facing a wall, sometimes you can throw this out and be like, hey, look, it's not getting a wall splat, and now I can get an easy combo afterwards, so yeah, sometimes it's good to just end your combos with this in hopes that they get launched in the direction of the wall, sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell where they're going to get thrown, you know, it's just a good move. And it's also a plus on block, I believe, so Fastgirl was blocking this in slow so we can interrupt it. But I can attack after it he blocks it. So yeah, it's and it's also obviously really good as a dodge. Because he like swerves around or, like a lot. So if someone's like throwing projectiles, we think they're gonna do an attack, you can try and counter them with this, and possibly get a wall spot, obviously, if you're not facing the wall. Okay, his tilt quirk one. Oh, and um, oops, oops, oops. It can be done in the air as well, just letting you know. His tilt quirk one is a new move in Once Justice One. It does this like crazy, weird-looking, like spinning barrel roll move. It's really unusual, and it's one of his main combo extenders in this game. So you can dash cancel after it to get decent damage, but. It's also, if the opponent's not on recovery, like Buffer Go is now, sometimes people don't like to mash a recovery button, especially if they've just fought a Gran Torino and he gets infinites if you recover. So a lot of the time, if you um, are doing a combo and you use this, you can actually use it as a free combo extender. 
See that whole combo? There was no dash cancel because after this, I can just get an attack if I'm in the air. Like after the air base. I'll just clarify. So once you're high in the air, like after I've done something like this, I can just attack after it. So yeah, it's really good for that. And even if they are recovering and you're not um, managing to get a combo off of it, then you can actually use it as some kind of a reset tool. Oh yeah, it can also weirdly wall splat. It's not a very good tool for that because usually it hits them out of the wall splat, so it's kind of annoying. It messes up your combo. But here, yeah, wait. Recovery. <laughs> You can just jump in the air and dash after them, and if you time it right, that was pretty bad timing there. But usually you can hit them before they would... And you can use that as a reset in the air and do some Gran Torino crap. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of the time, even if, the, even if they are trying to recover late, you can actually use it as a free combo extender. So like sometimes if they're not like completely mashing on a recovery, you can get free combos extensions. Yep, anyways. And you can also dash cancel if they, you are managing not to get this. Okay, and it can be done in the air as well. Now for his Quark 2. His Quark 2 is this really good move. It's not a combo extender or anything. Actually, it is a combo ender, so yeah, it's really good in a lot of ways. But what he does is he leaps back and then just launches himself at the opponent. He goes really far and just like flies at them. If it whiffs, it's pretty safe, see here, I can dash cancel out of the way, or I mean, not dash cancel, or just like sidestep, if they're gonna try and punish me for it, so it, there's really no risk into throwing it out, also if it hits a blocking opponent, like if Buffett is blocking here, and I throw it out, there's no way they're punishing me with that, because it knocks them back so far, and I can even um, sidestep out of the way if you do try to attack. But there's no way that they're ever going to punish you with this. So it's always something, so say if you like need to close the distance, if someone's trying to run away or something, like they're trying to run away and charge projectiles, or do some weird zoning or something, or do setups, you can just jump over everything and launch yourself at them, and do an instant 4,000 damage if it hits them. And if it doesn't, then, like here, say if I don't manage to hit it, I've gotten a lot closer than I was before, so I'm like, it's a really good way of tool of getting in, and it's also a really damaging combo ender after you do either three attacks in the air, into this, that does high damage, or two hits into armor move, is a bit more. And as you can see, it is one of the most excellent, um, uh, 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 wall splat tools, like, in the game. So if I show you, like, I'm pretty far away from that wall. I, actually, I could be further here. I'll try and show you just how amazing this is. So if I'm over here, I do two hits into the armor move, into this. He's sending flying. He's going to get wall splat if you're looking at a wall. Like, there's no getting away from this. So it is an amazing combo ender that you're always going to want to end your combos in. And make sure you don't get a meteor blow, because you're, it does a lot of damage, 4,000 damage, like, as its raw self, so it does a lot of damage to end combos. And it is super likely to get a wall splat, so you may as well use it as your combo ender like every time. It's just a win-win in every situation. High damage, high chance of combo um, extension by the wall splat. And yeah, I just don't see why you wouldn't do it. Wow, look at this one speed after the one. We'll get to that later. Um, yeah, so that's that move. Oh, you can also cancel it into... So this is his tilt quirk, too. It's... You can just do a roar, and it just does that, and it won't be a red attack. You can cancel it into another button, like his, um... Um, so for extending combos, you can cancel into it, and then cancel that into his tilt quirk one. To do some good extended combos. And that's how you're going to be using it, because it does decent damage, and you can cancel it into a still quite one, so that's a lot of damage as a combo extender. But you can also use it, like, if you're in the air as a mix-up or something, or if I've done two attacks, and the opponent's going to recover, I can go into the red version, and try and mix them up that way. Opposite combos when I hit them. But you can also just use it as a red attack, it's really good, and you can get combos off of it pretty easily. So, it's a really good mix-up tool, and a combo extender. But what I was talking about with the um, Quirk 2, the jump back leap thing, you can actually press the button again, 
Oh yeah, there we go. You have to do it a bit late, so after he lands back, then you hold it, and then you can actually cancel the what would have been this dive kick that the opponent will just try to block or something. You can cancel it. My goodness. Into the red attack, which is reactable, but... It's a really good mix-up. If you've been using this a lot and they're like, oh yeah, you're doing more of these, because it tracks really well on sidestep as well, so they can just gonna try and block it. And they're like, oh yeah, another one. Or especially if you do it on block or something. And then you whip out this red move. And get a cool combo up. Okay, now that we've gone over all of these of his buttons, actually, in this button section, I'll go over his plus ultra one, because it's really important in this place. Uh, so after you hit it, it does decent damage, um, it's a really good wall splat move, obviously I wasn't facing the wall then. Look, now he has a buff mode, he runs really fast, and a lot of his attacks have different properties. So, after I do this attack, if I cancel it to his quad one, I can just attack after it. It's an automatic needleless combo starter. Okay, war off. But, yeah. So, I have to do this again to get back into the state. Okay, so... This is a meterless combo starter, I can then just attack after it, so it's really good for that. Um, and also his air attack, this move that you never used before, is actually turns into this like twirling dive kick that hits like 7 billion times, especially if you're high in the air. It hits so many times, and you can actually get free stuff after it, so if I hit it, it actually bounces your opponent, and you can just keep mashing the button, and you'll go into this regular attack string like this, <laughs> see? It's so strong. So he, when you're in this mode, this is basically your like your pick. He just gone psycho, not crazy cheese mode. Because <laughs> you just can, you can just go ridiculous and just do all this meter of damage. You're completely safe on everything. Also in this game, in this mode, because you're so fast, and so you can get all this easy meter less damage. Just go crazy, pressing buttons, catch your opponent off guard. Your red move is even, even faster, so you can catch them with that. And you just have a, a ton of guard pressure as well, obviously, because you're so fast, you can cancel anything into anything. So I can just be like, boop, into this, oh, into this, oh, 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 you don't know what's happening, nor do I, because I'm just pressing so many buttons, like one, two, three, three, this, or one, two, three. Oh, well, you guys broken. I guess I'm getting a free combo now instantly. Oh, 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 oh. Going crazy. <laughs> that would have been like 10,000, 11,000 damage because you've gone crazy. Instant, easy guard breaks. Crazy pressure. Your opponent's so scared. And you run so fast, so like you can just run around and like psych them out that way. It's, it's a really fun move. Um, and to combo into it, I suggest just doing two hits into the yellow move, into a few hits of his tilt plus one. Because he can only do it on the ground, so sometimes it would be a bit more things to crumble into it. And I'll also show it's a really good There we go. And then you can go into his combos from, from there. So like, I have no idea what's happening when I'm in this mode, you just, you just press buttons. So that was almost 12,000 damage from a raw level 1, like, it's crazy, it's crazy, he's crazy. Okay, now let's get into his combos, which I've already shown a bit off already. So, his bread and butter combo that you're going to usually be doing is three hits into the tilt quirk two, to quirk one, dash cancel two hits, armor move, quirk two. You're probably going to get a wall splat, so you go M, three hits, to quirk two. Easy, 11,600 damage. That is really, really strong for one dash cancel. He definitely has above average damage. And seeing as I have the opponent on not doing the instant recovery, you can see that I can get all of that damage. So after I do this, I can just go into it and attack and go into that whole situation again. He would have been wall splat. I would have gotten 11,600 damage again. And I didn't dash cancel once because he wasn't mashing on the recovery button. If he is recovering, 
can either choose to go for the meterless like reset thing with the dash at them, and then this whole weird situation. Whoa, oh, stupid wall splat ruined everything. But yeah, if they're recovering, just do a jump, and then you get to go into the combo again. And uh, like, there's practically nothing that they can do. Maybe they can squeeze out a yellow attack, but practically you're like Gran Torino in the air. Like, you can do all these crazy combos. And then even though this was a reset, the total damage would have been the whole 11,600. Actually, it would be even more, because they've done a recovery. So it's going to do, like, oof, without scaling, that's going to be like 15,000 damage for a meterless combo and a reset into the air and with a wall spike and stuff. So he, he's really crazy. And obviously, if you want to be a bit safer and a bit more, like, generic, you can go for the dash cancel after the tilt quirk one. Just to make sure you get the damage, if you don't want to go for the reset or the... Um, take the chance that they're not going to recover. You can do this, take that, cancel, and mess it up like I did. Oh, but I got a wolf blood, so it's fine. And, I'm sorry guys, but that's like almost his entire combo section. Like, that's all I ever do with Eater. Like, sometimes, obviously, I'll change it if I've gotten a red attack. See, even though he recovered there, I just pressed the button, and as soon as he recovered, I was still hitting him, so there's no room for him to do any buttons or anything, so I've just caught him in the air doing resets, doing crazy damage. And I'm sorry to make this a short combo section, guys, but Ida is simple combo-wise, he does huge damage. You always end in his quirk 2, and if you want... You can do his plus ultra 1, just to troll your opponent, to get a lot of unbreakable damage. <laughs> like, a lot of damage, and then you're in this spastic crazy form. Like, oh, red move. Okay, let me go into my quick comedalist crazy combo that would have broken the guard, actually. And then, yeah. So he's ridiculous. You can go into plus ultra 1, like, to just get big chunks of damage. Plus Ultra 2 isn't really something that I usually use because I like to go for dash cancels or Plus Ultra 1 over the um, Plus Ultra 2 because he just gets so much damage normally. Like, if you can do this much damage meticulously or with reset, you can do like 15,000. What is even the point in using your Plus Ultra 2? He's just so crazy. Um, you can combo off of his um, Plus Ultra 1 if you have a support like Aizawa or Jiro. Fortunately, I don't have them because I. I have the cool team, you know? And, talking about supports, not really anything that you ever have to use with Eater, because he just gets amazing damage on your own. I suppose if you want to be safe, after you do the plus ultra, um, the tilt work one, you can pull out a support to get an extension that way. You can get a free extension anyways, I don't see why you'd bother wasting a support. Usually I just use my supports as a way of, like, doing this <laughs> stuff that everyone hates of the red move with the support and use them for pressure, or if I'm in the crazy form, I can call them out so they have to deal with my all this crazy pressure, like I can go into the red attack after my whatever, and just catch them off guard and do a lot of things, and that's yeah, what I use most of my sports for, and obviously it's really But yeah, that's basically Eater in a nutshell, guys. This regular combo does tons of damage, you can choose to use a dash cancel, or you can choose to keep it as a reset, or you can just make it a full combo if your opponent isn't mashing the recovery button, which actually works, like, 90% of the time online. It's like, people aren't instantly mashing the recovery button, so you can get this for free. This huge damage, and just for fun, guys, I'll end in the plus ultra 3, the team plus ultra. And show you how much damage he can get off of a needless combo into Plus Ultra 3. Well, this happens. Thanks, guys, for watching. Eat is really fun. I'm glad you requested him. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.